So this is a big thing that we've, we've introduced in Infigo and we've seen huge success um, both in um, the numbers but also in the well-being of our staff and the product and the brand. And it's been a real cultural shift that we've introduced at Infigo. Um, we've um, gone back to the basics. We've, gone, we've focused on productivity. Um, there's a point in there about output over effort. You know, we're, we're pushing aside the archaic uh, mentality of I'm sending emails at weekends, I'm sending emails in the evening because I want to make it appear as if I'm working hard. That's not what we want in Figo. We want you working smart. If you're sending emails and doing work at weekends and in the evenings, there's, a, there's an issue there with your time management and your prioritization. So a big exercise, we've done a big exercise across the entire business about understanding what each person in the business does, where they add value, and removing the tasks that are all, uh, mundane, um, repetitive, can be um, delegated, can be stopped, um, and there's been a big push around that in the business. Um, and as a, as a result of that, um, we've seen a real um, empowerment of individuals. We've got this challenge culture now. It's not about Douglas standing at the front saying, this is what we're gonna do and this is how we're gonna do it. It's everyone in the business contributing that. It's coming from beneath, it's coming from the sides, and it's coming from above. And it's empowering everyone in the business to um, feel like they can make a difference. As a result of that, we got voted the one of the best places to work um, in the UK for well-being, <laughs> which uh, Precision Cards have also been uh, awarded as well. Uh, for well-being, uh, best places to work tech company in the UK, and also got our great place to work certification. Um, and there's actually another award that we're going to be issued this year as well on top of that. There's also been a real focus on customer and it's reuniting the entire business. Greg has for years and years have harped on about customers, everything. We've like, yeah, yeah, Greg, yeah, well, all right, we know, shut up. But it's, not, it's, it's so important. Um, and, and now everyone in the business understands that and it's a real focus and it's a shift in how we work. So by, has anybody uh, here ever been at a business where they've not felt like they can make a difference, where they felt like they're just a number? Be careful. <laughs> to, yeah, and how does that, how did that make you feel? Well, you can make a difference, or you can't. Well, when you felt like you couldn't, where you felt like you were a number, and well, you know, when you try to, yeah, you know, sort of Rob, yeah, Carl, yeah, yeah. So we identified that as 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 a trigger for those sorts of things. So by empowering your employees. You don't have to pay them more. You don't have to treat them more. You don't have to, we, you, you obviously you want to, you want to reward them in your success, but actually it's changing their psychology and making them want to be proactive, making them want to make a difference. And so that's what we've been spending a lot of time doing at Infigo and it's really made a difference.